So now let us do a quick revision and take some important notes for the subject of mathematics for class 12 CBSC for the chapter number 9 on the differential equations. So we have, so first, so what is the meaning of a differential equation? So an equation involving an independent variable, a dependent variable and the derivatives of the dependent variable is called a differential equation. A differential equation involving the derivatives of the dependent variable with respect to only one independent variable is called an arbitrary differential equation, is called an ordinary differential equation and a differential equation involving the derivatives. So with respect to more than one independent variable is called a partial so differential equation. So now we have studied about the ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation. So their meaning and their difference. And next, understanding the order and degree of a differential equation. So the order of the highest derivative appearing in a, deriv in a differential equation is called the order of the differential equation. And the power of the highest order derivative appearing in the differential equation after it is made free from radicals and fractions is called the degree of the differential equation. And here we have to make a note that the order and degree if defined of a differential equation are always positive integers. So the order and the degree are, are always positive integers. And understanding the homogeneous differential equation. So any differential equation of the forum dy by dx equal to f of xy, so divided by g of xy. So where we have, so f of x comma y and g of x comma y are homogeneous functions of x and y of the same degree. So therefore we can represent a differential equation as dy by dx equal to f of x comma y divided by g of x comma y. And understanding the linear differential equation, so an equation of the forum dy by dx plus py equal to q, where p and q are functions of x only or constants is called a linear differential equation of the first order. And the solution of a differential equation can be understood as the solution of a differential equation is a function of the forum y equal to f of x plus c which satisfies the given differential equation. So here we have, so one the general solution and the other one is the, the particular solution. So therefore for general solution, the solution of a differential equation which contains a number of arbitrary constants equal to the order of the differential equation. And a particular function is defined as a solution obtained by giving particular values to the arbitrary constants in the general solution. And further, so coming to the methods of solving the differential equation, we have number one, equation in a variable separable form. So if the differential equation is, if, is of the forum f of x into dx equal to g of y into dy, so then the variables are separable and such equations can be solved by integrating on both the sides. And the solution for this uh, is given by, so integral of f of x dx equal to integral of g of y dy plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. And second one, the equation reducible to a homogeneous forum. So if the equation is of the forum dy by dx equal to f of x comma y divided by g of x comma y, where we have, so f of x comma y and g of x comma y are the homogeneous functions of the same degree in x and y. So then, so put if, so y equal to vx and dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx so that the dependent variable y 
is changed to another variable v, so then apply the variable separable method. And further we have, in order to understand, so how to find a solution of a linear differential equation, a differential equation of the forum dy by dx plus py equal to q, where p and q are functions of x or constants can be solved as, so first step number one, find integrating factor. So that is i f equal to e to the power of integral of p into dx. And second, so second step, the solution of the differential equation is y of the integrating factor equal to integral of q of integrating factor into dx plus c. So where c is a constant of integration. And the function which satisfies the given so differential equation is called its solution. And the solution which contains as many arbitrary constants as the order of the differential equation is called the, the general solution. And the solution for, and the solution free from the arbitrary constants is called as the particular solution. So as we know that we have two solutions. So one is the general solution and the, the particular solution. So therefore we can define the particular solution as a solution free from arbitrary constants. And to form a differential equation from a given function, we differentiate the function successively as many times as the number of arbitrary constants in the given function and then eliminate the arbitrary constants. So this is the procedure for solving a differential equation. And the variable separable method is used to solve such an equation in which the variables can be separated completely. So that is, we can say that in terms, so containing, so y should so remain with so dy and the terms containing x should remain with dx. So by using the, the variable separable method. So next important point we have, the order of a differential equation, so representing a family of curves is same as the number of arbitrary constants present in the equation, so corresponding to the family of curves. <coughs> so now thus we have made a quick revision on the chapter on the differential equations, so covering all the important points and topics here. Thank you.